knocks our door, we are ready. Okay, and that is the time you are lucky. So from last three years, under Sir's guidance, we have been practicing the DSI. And uh, today we got opportunity to listen to you. So we are lucky. So we'll start our DLC song. बताए बातें ये कुछ काम की इन बातों से तुम्हें लगेगी हर मुश्किल आसान सी टीएलसी में दम इस टीएलसी में हम है टीएलसी में दम इस टीएलसी में हम आओ मित्रों तुम्हें बताए बातें ये कुछ काम की इन बातों से तुम्हें लगेगी हर मुश्किल आसान सी टीएलसी में दम इस टीएलसी में हम है टीएलसी में दम की जो 
चलो सही पकड़ दे जाते हैं तरकीबे सब बेचने की फोर पी समझाते हैं एस टी पी अगर सही चुनो तो ग्राहक बढ़ते जाते हैं सवाल सारे स्पिन के तुमको सही राह दिखलाते हैं वाओ इफेक्ट फिर हर दम देना बन जाए पहचान सी इन बातों से तुम्हें लगेगी हर मुश्किल आसान सी टीएलसी में दम टीएलसी में हम टीएलसी में दम टीएलसी में हम आओ मित्रों तुम्हें बताए बातें ये कुछ काम की इन बातों से तुम्हें लगेगी हर मुश्किल आसान सी टीएलसी में दम टीएलसी में हम टीएलसी में दम टीएलसी में हम टीएलसी में दम टीएलसी में हम टीएलसी में दम Wow, good afternoon. How was the energy? Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm here to talk about evolution of daily small improvements in TLC. Initially, we all used to call it kaizen, a Japanese term, which practically means good or continual changes. We have Kaizen galleries, Kaizen files, Kaizen rewards in our organizations. In Bagwesar's reliable industry, all team members have been practicing everyday small improvements since a long time. During pandemic, to sustain in this VUCA world, he gave us this very beautiful yet powerful tool of daily small improvements and I made a small abbreviation, give it a name DSI, which became so powerful, which became so popular in TLC. The term DSI emphasizes that the small improvement should be done every day and that too by all members of the organization. I remember during COVID time, in one of his online sessions on world-class manufacturing processes. Bhagwesar showed us few case studies. The first study was from the Harvard University. It was about a cycling team of Britain. They never had won any gold medal in any of the Olympics, but when they started doing just 1% daily improvement, they could win the Olympic gold medal. And that was the case study. It was, it, they practically did small improvements in everything, their bicycles, their practices, their postures, even their food habits. And that was amazing case study. One more case study was on pit stop of Formula One cars. Do you remember that? from 59 seconds to record time of just 1.82 seconds. It was mind blowing. Also, we saw a video of Paul Akers about how even we can make our offices even lean. When we just on a small portable table on wheels, everything is managed. It was great. In a way, Bagwe sir started a strong movement called DSI across our TLC community. Local groups were formed on Telegram where all members can post their daily small improvements like this. And to monitor who is posting and who is not, an automatic software was developed by our fellow TLCN Kaushal from Nashik. For review of DSI, Bhagwe sir nominated DSI owners in all cities and those DSI owners can see daily reports of all local members on the DSI board like this. Can you see those green dots? It, those are automatically filled every hour the bot software refreshes it and one can know who is posting, who is not. 
these graphs, bar graphs and line graphs are automatically prepared, which indicates how many percentage of those TLC members in those particular cities are posting DSI on that particular day. This data is regularly monitored in a meeting on every first Monday of every month. Last year, we had taken a gigantic target of 250,000 DSIs of all TLC members with a target of total savings of 50 million Indian rupees. And I'm really proud to tell you that we have surpassed that target and achieved 259,000 DSIs across TLC with a total savings of with a total savings of more than 121 million Indian rupees. We must all give a big round of applause for our most senior TLCN from Pune, Mr. Bapu Sai Pujari, for this wonderful analysis, data analysis across TLC. I would also like to thank here and appreciate our senior TLCN Paskaude sir from Nasik for helping us to complete all formalities of travels to Paul Acres. Friends, we are now going to witness victory presentations of few TLCNs who have successfully developed a culture of DSI in their organizations. For this, I hand over this dais to Mr. Mankar of Pune. Thank you. Good afternoon. I first call Mr. Chinmay Suktankar from Polymist to present their DSI success story. A very good afternoon to all TLCNs. I'll be presenting our DSI journey uh, through this presentation. Starting with uh, my company information, we are basically into thermoset molding and some product assemblies. Uh, we are supplying to switchgear, motor and alternator customers. Uh, all the components put together, we have 2,400 2, components and 24 product assemblies, uh, ranging to 8.5 million uh, numbers every month. These are a few figures. We clocked 12.93 uh, million dollars last year uh, from 26 customers and we are exporting to five countries. When we started our DSI journey, when, when we knew about it, we started with small meetings uh, where we uh, introduced all the concepts of what is what is DSI basically, and we showed uh, videos of FastCap for understanding DSI. We also made a small Google uh, app to uh, take the DSIs every uh, every time. We had engaged a team of almost eight core team members, and uh, we had uh, uh, DSI leaders who were responsible for 10 members each to monitor the DSIs. The counts of the DSI were monitored in the ma ma management review meetings every month. The basic constraints and challenges what we got were uh, regarding the doubts that does my re uh, DSI really count? And the, uh, the re major, major reason was the battle between good DSI and bad DSI. And that created a negative peer pressure between the people. So we decided to launch a scheme where uh, we had a campaign and we uh, nominated these DSI leaders to actually uh, communicate to every uh, member who was putting in the DSI that that DSI was uh, 
correct and accept it, and there we there won't be any uh, difference of opinion. There will be uh, it will be a very clear and open communication. Now we'll see a few impactful videos of DSI. Here is a fixture where we were inspecting the button for height variation. A similar fixture was made which reduced the cycle time of inspection. And it, it was just because of gravity, the right side is for rejection. And on the left side, you can see the components which were accepted. Here the part had a rejection of 330 per million. This is a second DSI where we had a uh, we had to stop a defect of possibility of getting the, uh, the red button in place of green and green in the place of red. We had added photo sensors where the machine would stop if the wrong button was placed in the wrong position. These are the photo sensors. And this red light would show that, that that was the wrong assembly. This was another DSI where two operations were combined together. One was a packing operation with plugs insertion. And the other operation was the counting operation to be done. Here we assembled close to 12,000 numbers in every day. So every second counted. Here we saved 2.7 seconds per assembly. And the counting was also automated, so there was no possibility of making mistakes. This is another DSI, where every machine was, uh, ha is having a QR code, where all the maintenance chart, preventive as well as the breakdown maintenance is uh, maintained in Excel sheet in background. Even the uh, spare, or spare location is also seen in the uh, sheet, so there is no waste of time. Here we can see a change from a wooden box to a carton, where uh, the major focus was towards uh, the environment, where we uh, stopped using wood and started using cartons. The saving was not much, it was around 30,000 rupees annually. So this was basically the DSI uh, impact. Now to the sustenance part of it, we feel that award and recognition is uh, very necessary to sustain the DSIs. At the same time, whatever happened in the month, that was shared with the complete team. The best DSIs were shared, the number of DSI we received was shared. So basically sharing was necessary for sustenance. Now coming to the key results, we had, uh, in the first year, we had started in March in 2021. We were running with an average of 271 DSIs uh, every month, sorry, every day. And then we had gone up to 610. This year, we have reduced it to 440, but the quality of DSIs have improved. And here you can see, because of the improvement in quality, the saving, which was 28.81 lakhs in 2021, we have met that in first 45 days and now we are at 43 lakhs in just two months. Here, uh, we are pl uh, talking about the future, what we are, we are planning to introduce, uh, partly introduced also. We had only a Google form for the introduction, uh, introducing the DSI. Now we have a Marathi uh, regular format for writing the DSI. We had also, uh, started putting uh, theme posters in the company uh, which would inspire people to give DSI. The DSIs will be put in on a QR code at every place the DSI was done. So the sustenance part of it can be checked at any point of time as well as we will do exhibitions uh, for the DS best DSIs done in the month. Thank you. Thank you, Chinmay. I'll now call Mr. Vijay Saudi from Jai Renewable Energy Private Limited for the next presentation. Good 
afternoon our guest mr paul akers good afternoon our guest mr paul akers uh, our mentor bagwe sir fellow tlcians and uh, their staff members my name is vijay saudi i am from jai renewable energy private limited miras we are based at miras district sangli we make uh, two types of solar water heaters we also deal in uh, heat pumps install solar power plants we started uh, the dsi journey in uh, july 2020 i am uh, going to tell you about uh, our dsi and uh, show you a few samples our mentor bagwe sir initiated dsi movement uh, during july 2020 those were very tough times due to covid frequent lockdowns and opening up so after a dsi session by bagwe sir we conducted a training session on our shop floor we followed up with couple of demonstration sessions uh, we showed up, uh, we ourselves showed how uh, simple and effective dsi can be a few youtube videos by mr paul akers were part of the training session after that we started practicing and appreciating uh, dsi whenever a dsi was done we started appreciating i am i am showing you a, a few samples uh, this is a this is a small aluminum angle being punched some people used to fall off the table so this is how we this is how we prevented it in the powder coating shop while uh, changing the shade the booth needed to be cleaned it took ar around 20 minutes to clean it manually after d uh, dsi was done we started to put a polythene sheet on the booth so that cleaning time came now to 5 minutes <laughs> angle pieces getting punched the after the after punching the pieces fell down to uh, the floor and then they were picked up and stacked now it is getting done by the press press operator himself this is the pre treatment process so uh, the the containers were getting obstructed by handles since the handles were of no use to us we just removed them the movement became very smooth a few dsis by our helpers the lowest uh, class of employees this is a strip be uh, being uh, bent on the fly press our people started bending two pieces at a time and they did it very easily they tried even 3 4 but the bend was not even so they stopped at 2 only in the powder coating shop some finished material remains there for some time so it gets uh, the quality gets uh, compromised due to dust particles and uh, powder particles so we started to cover it by a polythene sheet so the quality was maintained this is a mounting stand of our solar water heater we had two similar parts part number 4 and 8 they just slightly differed in length so we made them similar so that setting time for producing two types of parts was saved also the uh, uh, storage space was saved to uh, uh, store different types of inventories 
during welding we uh, provided the earthing connection by a threaded collar it took some time now we, now we, now we are putting just a oversized collar on on the nipple no tightening is needed these are evacuated tube collector boxes a container load is being unloaded and transported so earlier we uh, our people carried uh, them manually two people carried one box after improvement uh, four people carry 16 boxes these are punching of circular sheets some uh, sheets uh, got stuck to the punch this is how we pro prevented it this is the powder coating shop earlier one line was uh, uh, coated at a time the coating booth had inner space to hold two two lines when we started coating two lines the spraying time uh, reduced to uh, re reduced by 30% all these were uh, dsis from production department but all other people like people from accounts sales and purchase are also doing dsis so uh, this is uh, a pre coated sheet we use for uh, uh, cladding of our solar tanks we previously used 0.45 mm thickness so our purchase person tried 0.4 mm thickness then he tried 0.37 mm thickness then he tried 0.35 mm thickness finally we settled at 0.35 mm thickness this exercise alone saved us 8000 dollars annually so we have done more than 3000 improvements so far the total saving is upwards of 25000 dollars the dsi has improved our safety quality productivity and reduced fatigue our labor cost came down from 8.26% to 6 our labor cost came down to 6.26% from 8.06% within 3 years Finally, uh, we promise to do daily small improvements every day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Vijay sir. Now I would like to call Mr. Sachin Kumar and Santa Kumar Patil for from Sanmati Components for the next presentation. Hello hello thank you Good afternoon to everyone Good afternoon to everyone I am Ms Rituja Ajit Madke here to represent Sanmati Components Private Limited I would like to begin by introducing Sanmati Components Private Limited Sanmati Components Private Limited was a single machine shop started in 2012 today we are a company of around around 2 million usd revenue sales sanmati components private limited is a precise machining shop we believe we believe that customer delight is our success we are a team of 60 members so we pr we manufacture every year we manufacture around 160 components which are in various sectors such as automotive agriculture textile and climate change and climate control industries so the term dsi was totally new when we when we first began like the term dsi was totally new when we were unknown to T tlc so as we came in the contact of tlc we started knowing the importance of dsm daily small implement so as we as the training sessions were conducted by sir we got to know more about them 
So when we implemented the TS, uh, DSI in our company's culture, there were many types of question raised. Like, like is it really helpful? Uh, will I be able to do it? What implement should I? What what improvement should I be able to do continuously? It is not my daily routine. Even the relevance of DSI was not that clear to the employee at that point. Uh, there was lack of training, lack of feedback, even lack of follow up at that at that point of time. So to overcome this type of problems, we uh, we came with a solution for taking action to implement DSI in our daily culture. Uh, so to implement DSI, we started taking regular feedbacks. Regular training sessions were conducted. Appreciation and rewards were given on the spot. These are the glimpses of DSI implementations and rewards session conducted. So the first picture show that uh, we conducted various types of training uh, time to time. We uh, uh, we like we created a friendly environment where our employees were able to understand what actually the the, the term DSI means. And on the basis of their on the basis of their DSI, we took the feedback and rewards were distributed amongst them. So the next part of DSI implementation will be will be explained by Mr. Sachin Patil. Good afternoon all. Uh, here I am to explain the D, uh, impact of DSI in our industry. We are in uh, continuous production and small batches. Both uh, small batches are our USP. And we are having lot of components number of components with us and uh, there are DSI in productivity, waste elimination, safety. So the, I am presenting first DSI in productivity. Uh, here as per demand of customer, initially the numbers are low, so we have, we have done a um, manual clamping fixture. As the demand increases, we redesign the fixture in hydraulic clamping. We save cycle time by three minutes and productivity improved by 28.5 percent. Here the waste elimination setting. As, as earlier said, we have number of parts and uh, the setting changeover is the major hurdle to us. The setting time gets more uh, time so we have done the DSI and he, he, here it is number of DSIs uh, in same fixture. First of all, a single component, a single fixture was there and it is taken the whole machine table. After we converted it into multi product fixture, the second DSI was the alignment process is uh, primarily very annoying and to make easier, we put it on a single fixture, eight number of product in single fixture. So alignment of the fixture, we have done two double pins and the use of table slot. And the lastly, the offset was read by machine so entire setting process is eliminated and just putting a fixture on table, the work gets started without any setting procedure. Hence, we save the 160 minutes per month. Here it is DSI in quality improvement. The part we have seen in, on screen having 1.94 hole. The drill for this get break sometimes and the faulty product may be produced and the customer get hampered due to quality. The inspection was taken place 100% in process and the quality can, cannot assure to customer. We, we place an We place an uh, we, we place an tool break sensor 
maybe tool break sensor on the machine it uh, measures the tool length and stops the machine if tool get break so the quality get assured and the faulty product we avoid the faulty product production next one uh, here it is dsi for safety to locate this job on the fixture a locator has to place in that job and if the locator not removed from job the machine get dash and hence the safety of work uh, operator and machine also uh, get into hurdle so in brainstorming our maintenance person come with a solution he place an uh, limit switch on machine and coupled with the push button cycle start push push button and if the locator from job or not placed in that place of uh, limit switch the cycle start not operates hence the safety is ensured here it is some uh, benefits of dsi the value addition per employee increase by 85 80% the rejection parts per million 2500 to 500 ppm the return on total asset up, achieved up to 25% the customer satisfaction index improved by 10% 85% to 95% then zero accident from last two years and the most important is the whole team having their approach in, converted into growth mindset these are number of DSI we have done and the total saving by that saving in production is $13,000, saving in quality $6,600, saving in uh, five years improvement $2,200 and safety that we have already said last two years zero accident. Next. In financial benefits, here graph shows the after implementation of DSI, the uh, sales or revenue is growth by six times from 19 uh, to 23. And value add per employee growth by up to 34%. Next. And the return on total asset is now up to 24, 25%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sanmati component team. I'll uh, request Mr. Mallar Bandurge from MK Founders and Metallurgies to give the next presentation. Hello, I'm audible. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, respected Bhagavad sir, uh, Mr. Polikar, Mami Sam, and all my TLC fraternity. I'm so happy, so delighted, and thanks Prasad for this uh, great opportunity for us to interact with Mr. Polikar, and I'm happy to share Team MK's progress on DSI implementation and benefits. Uh, MK Founders established in 2012, 10 years back, and it started with a small job work machine shop. And I want to give all the credit, whatever we have done in last three years, it is only to Bhagwesar and the initiation of DSI. So on this occasion, I would like to give a big thank to Bhagwesar and uh, how we have moved. I am proud to deliver team MK's performance. We are basically in machine components and sub-assemblies. Uh, we have uh, Pan-India customers and recently we have started it to export market. And basically our scope is machine metallic components and sub-assemblies. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. We are in this uh, following uh, business verticals. Automotive, purposely our basket is broad so that any ups and downs that doesn't affect us. And however, I'll say the major thrust of focus is on automotive industry. Eight months back, we have commissioned solar system. And last eight months, the plant is running on solar renewable energy. Like uh, earlier three case studies, our uh, all members we witness, we have a lot of constraints and problems when you initiate such, such activities. And what we have gone through, what constraints we faced, is basically the importance of small improvement. The purpose was not known. Lack of appreciation and motivation. Resistance to accept new concepts. It happens for all new ideas. Feeling of extra load. As I said earlier also, the purpose was not clear. And lack of hand-holding at lower levels. What are the small improvements we mean? Generally, they should work at the workstations. And that's why it was not clear as shown in the picture. Yeah. How we have come over this? Yeah, DSI purpose clarified among all. I took the initiative and I'm proud to say the day Bhagwesar gave that session on DSI with a video of yours, Lean is Simple. And from that day, I am daily posting one DSI. And only two days I have missed. And that day, I was out of station and the connectivity was not there. So that is the regard for DSI and Bhagwesar. So in the meeting, the purpose was clarified. Motivation and hand-holding at all the levels. Here I will take a minute and say, we started a WhatsApp group in the company, but it was a nuisance because we allowed everyone to use the mobile and it becomes a users in second ship, third ship, and it was discussed among the CFT group. And we provided a centralized tablet with a SOP in local language. And I'm proud to say even my operator and helpers, they're using this tablet and they're posting on Telegram. Devaluation, uh, DSI evaluation and incentive scheme, scheme was started. DSI champions for every month with their holding displayed at a prominent place in the plant is like this. Every month, the hero is different, champion and a hero. DSI champions are honored with Company mug, a special mug was made with all these benefits of DSI. Then once they complete 50 DSIs, we give them the T-shirt with the logo of DSI. Like uh, we know, a lot of our focus is on waste minimization. So such boards are made in local languages. They are displayed at all the prominent places. And we have a practice in our company that everyone should disclose a waste in his department and it should be discussed and the CFT is supposed to take a cognizance of it. And where we are concentrating is the eighth waste, human talent waste, because we believe humans, are unli humans have unlimited potential and we are here to uh, improve their skill set. Yeah, I have a few examples. Earlier, this is a vertical CNC machine. The job is to, after machining, is to, the operator is to take it out, clean it, and a lot of you know, housekeeping was getting distorted, and a lot of uh, burr, coolant get spread on the shop floor. So we have added a pneumatic connection, and extra 15 seconds machining is given, and the 
job is clean in the machine itself. Yeah. Then we have a lot of meetings, you know, meeting schedules are there, standing meeting, morning meeting, then evening Kaizen oath. And for that, we had a manual buzzer, and the one person, his job was to go and, you know, press the bell to invite that meeting or shift changes are there. So now we have, have a PLC controlled buzzer, and this volume of voice. Now we have a programmable buzzer. Yeah, it's okay, volume is not there. Hmm? We have added this final checkpoint at our final inspection end, that is inspection with assembly prototype part. We like to working fine, part is okay. This is an atlas pneumatic body and we had a lot of line complaints because of the casting, some burr or sand, you know the assembly fitment part, we got one a uh, few parts and it, we started checking before they were inspected and now the line rejection is zero. This is a cleaning activity, how we clean. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, two years back, Bagwesa started one more activity, owning a machine. And even in my company, I have a machine on my name. And every week, I go there, clean with it, all the team, right from the helper to the operator to the inspector. And we have added here music. It is a, you can say, team bonding songs are there. So that, you know, a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, a uh, few examples, how you evaluate before and after with benefits and here the impact is on, you know, simplicity, quality, safety and the evaluation is perfect. Yeah, this is how the evaluation is done and here the, whether it is basic, good, excellent or wow effect, this, you know, this DSI converted into Kaizen saved 2.6 lakhs per month. So I'll move fast, I have only one. Yeah, this is our monitor. And the benefits are almost $15,000 every month. My company, my team is saving through this. And one time, you know, around $6,000. Then safety, there is no limit. And I'm proud to say last 10 years, there is not a single accident in my company. floor space saving and these are the financial results. Uh, we started with very piddly uh, 51.4 US uh, uh, million uh, US dollars and this year we are closing at 306 and next year my target is 612. If you see the company health card, everywhere the improvement is there and wherever the labor ratio, raw material ratio, manufacturing they are, you know, downtrend. Otherwise, everywhere the health card has improved over last two months, uh, last two years. This is how the employee satisfaction has gone up. It was earlier 3.8. It has gone to almost 4.5. From physical activity to social working, costlier to competitive, limited scope to huge scope, shrinking responsibility, always ready to change. Now the team is aligned to vision and now CFT culture. Yeah. This is how uh, we are sustaining the culture. It is appreciation, appreciation and appreciation. And one more word from DSI, we have gone to DSC. Daily small appreciation and this is how it is helping us. Thank you. Thank you, Mallar. I'd invite uh, Fortune, uh, Mr. Sandeshan Ajit Otovankar from Fortune Procurators India Private Limited. Good afternoon. So, 
our journey started our dsi journey started on 18 june 2020 it was a period of severe covid 19 outbreak the world over and at that point of time tlc gave us this wonderful tool called dsi a brief about fortune procurators fortune procurators is a well diversified trading company having four major verticals paints and abrasives cement and construction chemicals and all types of castings and the fourth vertical technical services in surface preparation we are having total 5300 products a customer base of 2300 and 752 live customers our cost structure being a trading company the human resource cost accounts for more than 50% of the total cost and we identified top two wastages one untapped human potential and second the waste of waiting as a organization we strongly believe in training people to see waste and this is slowly getting embedded in the dna of fortune so how did we build this culture of dsi the morning starts with a daily improvement oath taken together on the right side of the screen you can see the improvement oath we have minimum 3 hours of training every month for the last 2 years victory presentations of dsi monthly and quarterly rewards and recognitions and spot appreciation these are some of the prominent things which we have undertaken for the last 2 years to build a strong culture of dsi in our company so let me brief about our journey of the last 2 years with dsi initially our focus was on the quantity we for that purpose we had to do lot of mentoring we tracked each and every dsi and gradually over a period we shifted our focus from quantity to quality training started a spot appreciation started that we started focusing on the process standardization we made process observation sheets listed n number of processes made videos then we took certain theme based targets monthly kpi for time savings were given to each and every individual certain areas of concern like data control were focused for dsi for which we got wonderful results in the period of 11 months we recorded 9677 dsi out of that 19% accounted for man hour savings and 11% for length of credit one example development of pjp pjp means projected journey plan in which a individual sales person makes his planning for the full month date wise location customer wise and the objective of his visit previously this was manually tracked but today we have systematized this in our erp and made many dsis on this so much that one day in advance that particular sales person will get details of his next day's visit means the customer's sales the sales which the customer has given for the full month the collections the outstandings every details he will get so that he is better equipped to for his visits now by making a strong pjp we could make a suspect list of 1656 customers and out of 1656 customer 1149 customers proved to be prospective customers and i am very happy to say that out of 1149 customers we could convert 341 customers into orders below are the comparative of two financial years 2122 and 2223 customer visits per month improved almost 100% over last financial year from 1064 to 2089 customer face time increased from 16.57% to 23.45% previously no sales was handled from back office today 5% of the total sales is being handled from the back office resulting into massive savings in time and money business from new customer last financial year 
dollar 0.65 million and this financial year it's dollar 2.03 million dormant customer a relatively unfocused area having lot of untapped potential last year it's dollar 0.06 million the same grew five times in this financial year dollar 0.30 million reduction in length of credit another example the monthly project with current and next target conditions were derived vertical wise and sales person wise projected improvement list made started weekly tracking of the same and monthly presentations for improvements made by this 65 customers credit were reduced by 30 days 61 customers got the money to immediate payments 32 customers for advance payment and we could add 118 new customers with 30 days credit this is the observation sheet for example of a cement sale bill in which we have recorded all the processes we listed down all the processes and a video is made of each and every processes Total 18 DSIs on this, and the time shape is 2.07 minutes per human invoice and 1.45 minutes per other vertical invoice. On an average, 1 to 4 one invoices per month, and the time shape is 36.11 hours per month. Another example. You can see the top above our ERP log is in previously it was totally blank. Today, the ERP log is full of information. 901 stands for the value addition target of this financial year. This ERP screen gives all details of the individual performance, his sales target, his collection target, the rags are the highlights, which is a matter of concern, the insurance details, as his license number, license expiry date, vehicle insurance detail, ESIs. The number of DSIs he has recorded in that particular month, appreciations received, appreciations given, the list of birthdays and the people on leave. This has resulted into a lot of time savings, reduced the, all the unwanted communications. Some of the outcome of the success stories, more than 14,000 working hours saved in 11 months. Value addition per person improved substantially, 9,008 USD in 21, 14,900 USD in 22, it substantially rose to 24,000 USD in 23. Change in OCC, 21, 77 days, 22, we could further reduce to 55 days, right now we are on 28 days and still working on it. Rota. In the year 21, it was 3.28%, 22, 11%, and right now our rota is 19%. Let me brief about life in fortune before DSI and after DSI. Previously, people used to see no scope for improvement. Today, people see a lot of scope for improvement. People were more self-centric. Today, they are more company-centric. Implementing change became easier. The rigidity of the mindsets were broken down. We are now ready for bigger challenges, ready to face any kind of challenges. Creativity improved a lot. Lot of innovative ideas started flowing on. And this resulted in a highly motivated team. Individual em empowerment improved. People started shouldering responsibilities. Accountability improved. Decision making ability increased. Finally, we dream to be world class and we are committed for it. Thank you. Thank you, Sandesh, for a wonderful presentation. Now I request Mr. Jitendra Shirke from Shirke Electro Private Limited to give this next presentation. The content enable kar. I'll be waiting for Paul to come. So we have time. <laughs> what is that? Hey, what is that? Ah, that's fine.
नीतीन असतो तो गाणं तरी म्हणलं असतो सगळे उठायचं काय एक्सरसाइज करायला लस जू इट दॅन सगळ्या सगळ्या उठा टाळा टाळा टाळ ओके ओके प्लीज प्लीज सिट डाऊन इट्स बीन ऑनर टू प्रेझेंट माय इम्प्रुव्हमेंट जर्नी बिफोर बागवे सर पॉल एकर्स अँड मामी सान अँड ऑफकोर्स ऑल माय टी एल सी एन फेलोज सो दिस इज हाऊ वी स्टार्टेड इट ऑल स्टार्टेड विद द टायर चेंजिंग ॲक्टिव्हिटी विथ माय टीम and we uh, my team changed the tires in different ways to save time the next thing we did was to watch paul acres fast cap improvement videos then we created a group on telegram many people are using whatsapp we use telegram so that we can monitor dsi and i started posting my improvements first then i i inspired my staff to post their dsis whatever they do and after a month or so we launched the in our company for all the employees and then they started posting and that's how the two second lean became dsi in our company we had challenges and most of them had first challenge was the technology we didn't we didn't had the the mobiles with each and every operator or each and every person then there was a huge challenge that how do we do every day how can we improve every day there were some few people few group that they had they had a mindset they had a fixed mindset that i am busy i i don't have time to improve and then we found that there was something missing in our training that was the why of the dsi like he rightly said from the process to precision to quality and so on so the why was missing so we started training people and some actions were taken to form team with all the staff members again showed them fast cap improvements and the videos what you do, what you did in your company provided them some motivational trainings and adopted this technique i do we do you do as you rightly said shoulder to shoulder so we do was the shoulder to shoulder each and every improvement was then acknowledged and appreciated one more thing was suggested by one of our employee and we did a promise slip we say it as an oath and this was our oath it's in marathi in our local language which says that i have come to this factory today to make improvements so this oath is been taken i have brought one a video shoot is a sound playing ya kamat sudharna karnyasathi company talelo aahe so i have come he is talking the local language i have come today to make improvement in my job so he says this as he enters the factory मॉर्निंग मीटिंग वी कॉल इज हडल मीट स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ एट टू टेन पीपल second thing we did was we 
we made a format. Those who can't post videos, they used to post before and after photographs. So this was a format where you can see that these categories were there, safety, quality, easier, and faster. It's, it's coming from, same from, yeah, yeah. This is how we monitor our daily uh, DSI coming from these employees. And uh, I think this is for this last month, February, so it's 28 days. This is our monthly dashboard. We did some uh, 608 DSIs last month. And these were our heroes. These are the five top pe people who did that. This is our annual score till date. And we have saved somewhere around $50,000 this year. This is the video when this, my engineer The switches were just brought six inches upwards, and that saved two seconds, two seconds of that operation, which resulted in annual saving of somewhere around one and a half person in a month. So a, a, a person was saved, a, a, man, a man month, I would say. Can you? This is an improvement where there were a lot of iterations in that improvement and that I have brought you to present here. The video is not running. Okay, so I'll just explain you that. This was a uh, laser printing uh, operation where we used to print in batch. So the batch size, we had a cycle time of 10.55 seconds per piece. It's fine. It's fine, daily is Because of this improvement, he that, that operator brought it down to two seconds. But he didn't, he didn't wait there. He didn't wait there. He had one more Im improvement for, for that. So there was a B he was carrying that bin in front of him. That was before. Sound. So he just shifted that bin. And from 2.2 seconds, he saved, or he brought it down to 1.8 seconds. But again, he didn't stop there. So this was the before of the earlier. So what it did, instead of hand, he started doing it by the leg. So he was, his hands were free, foot operated, which brought it down further to 1.5 seconds. But again, he didn't stop there. He put a timer. Auto ke lele apna. Anisha nandar hai. Pratte ko ek second dala apna timing dala ek second dala the laser hui. So 10.5 seconds in the first time, they, he has brought that down it to one second. So it was a 10x, 10x improvement. I would say. They are laser printing on that uh, black block.
See, this is the laser printing they are doing. I'll just show you once again. Earlier he was pressing by the phone. So this is the job they are printing. पेंडल का उपयोग पर नहीं कर रहा था, ऐसा ठीक। ऑटो के लिए आप हैं। अनिल यार अंदर है, प्रत्येक एक सेकंड दला आप उधर टाइमिंग दला ले, एक सेकंड दला तेल इधर हुई। And he's blowing by the air, by the pneumatic air, he's blowing that piece. Got it? Yeah. It's a code number. A code. No, this is a fixed one. There's also the variable, this is different. Uh, it changes as per uh, month. So it's not variable per piece, it changes per month. Yeah, that's a good idea too. But the customer doesn't want a projection on that. That's, that's a projection if you... In, inside. Inside. Yeah, he wants inside. Hmm. But that's a good idea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. This is one more improvement, a small improvement, where the operator decides. So the parts are falling. He, he doesn't lift the, uh, so non-value adding time is reduced. So these were my improvements, but the tangible benefits what I got is my productivity increased by 16%. Employee engagement was increased to 94%. We do that survey. We had a record break sales this year. First we broke in September, then it was that record was broken in November, and that record was then broken in December, and that record will be broken in March. Can you, can you? I would think that this would make work a lot more fun for you as well as everybody else is work a lot more enjoyable today than it was four years ago yeah for, for four years ago yeah, yeah just said before you started doing this is work a lot more enjoyable today than it was before. today it is the sloppiness is slowly slowly going yeah but, no, but I, what i want to know is whether or not you like work more do you enjoy working more I enjoy improving more, brother. Right. So, and that's what our people are doing. And they also give us feedback that they are now enjoying that but job. But what about you? You, do you enjoy I, it? I, it started with me. Yeah, I know, but do you <laughs> like it more? I love it. You love it, that's yeah. what I want to hear, yeah. So my value addition also increased by 57%. I'll just skip this slide because there's less of time. And for sustaining this culture, what we do is, as everybody has said, every DSI has a daily spot appreciation. But what I learned today from you, that you are appreciating each and every thing, this is which I, I, I'm missing, I'll be doing that. Awesome. This is how we also award our team. There's a wall of fame, so we put on photographs and appreciate everybody who are rewarded. Thank you. Amazing. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Jitendra, for a wonderful presentation. Uh, now we'll take a 20 minutes tea break. I'll just request everybody to return as fast as possible. So we will have a one next wonderful session of Paul Aker. Okay. That, that's, uh... Hello. There are counters behind in the restaurant and... Hey. Okay, can everyone hear me?
Okay, well, first of all, it's very flattering, all the pictures that everyone wants to take, and I don't deserve any of that. You guys all think that I'm special. I'm not special, and I just, it's amazing. The attitude here is just the highest level of respect. It's just a beautiful thing. I I really appreciate it very much. So, I'm going to give you a 10-minute talk. Listen to this. We're going to, I'm going to do a whole thing on Japan. It's going to be about an hour approximately. And then I'm going to do 10 minutes right now on something called GTD, getting things done. David Allen, raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Very few people. Okay. So you ready for this? Could change your life in the next 10 minutes. Did you hear what I said? I'll say it again. This could change your life in the next 10 minutes. You need to pay attention carefully. I've worked really hard on this talk. It changed my life when a guy named Bob Hendrickson, director of manufacturing for Steelcase, the largest office manufacturer in the world, responsible for 20,000 people and billions of dollars of business, personally taught me what I'm going to teach you right now. And I was already very efficient, but it changed everything for me. So you ready? Here we go. What is the great equalizer in life? The answer is time. You get the same 24 hours that I get. We're all the same. Doesn't matter whether or not you're Indian, American, Japanese, all the same. The difference is what you do with that 24 hours. And here's the problem. It's stuff. So all day long, stuff is coming at you. Do this, do this, do this, do this. I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And you got all this stuff coming at you and you don't know what to do with it. But if you had a system that dealt with all that stuff that was perfect, then that would solve a big problem. So, the problem, you got all that stuff going into your brain and you don't know what to do with that, all that stuff, okay? So here's the solution, you ready? So I was talking with David Allen, author of the book, Getting Things Done, about how to be more organized. And he asked me, why do, you, why do you keep a calendar? Because if I don't, I'll forget where I'm supposed to be and when. That's right. Your head can't handle that complexity. And <laughs> it's like the complexity of your calendar. Try the complexity of the rest of your life. You know? <laughs> if your calendar manages maybe 3 to 4% of... Okay. Are you, can you understand what he's talking about or is it too fast? Raise your hand if you get so far what we're talking about. Raise your hand if you don't understand what we're talking about. Okay, that's important. Okay, Okay, we're going to go slow. So what he's saying is, why do you keep a calendar? Why do you keep a calendar? To keep track of stuff. But the truth of the matter is, This calendar's only one small part of everything that you have going on in your life. You need to have a system that doesn't only just take care of the calendar stuff, but just all the stuff. How many people understand what I just said? Raise your hand. Okay, let's keep going. Your commitments and what you actually need to keep track of. The other 96%, David says, are things like our goals, our projects, our to-do lists, what we need at the store, that phone call we need to make, all these other things we just let our brain, our psyche, try to keep track of. Raise your hand if you understand everything he just said. Okay, we're getting better. So there's the stuff that's date-sensitive, But then there's all the other stuff you just got to do. Buying eggs, buying food, going to the dentist, whatever it is. You got all these things. How do you deal with that? The psyche actually sucks as a system. It'll remind you of stuff that you can't do at 3 o'clock in the morning, which is not very bright. If that was just one thing, that'd be bad enough. But multiply that by about 1,000 and realize this buzz that's going on in everybody's head. So, David thinks... So... I sleep pretty well every night. I have thousands of people contacting me from all over the world. I have to stand up here and speak to all of you and do a great job. Otherwise, I waste all your time. 
I got a lot of stuff going on in my brain. But yet, I'm not worried about anything. Do I seem like I'm present with you here today? I'm not distracted, right? You know why? Because of getting things done. I will explain. We need a new system that captures that buzz and quiets your brain. The first step in this system is to get everything written down. So capturing it, that's a first critical step. That is, I've got to identify those things that are potentially meaningful. Otherwise, my psyche is going to go, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. So right now is my mind going, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to send the PDFs to Prasad so that you have the PDF of my talk. Am I thinking that right now? No. Why not? Because I captured it immediately. As soon as I knew I needed to do it, even though I was in front of 600 people, Siri set a reminder to send PDF of talk to Prasad. So now I'm with you. I'm not thinking I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I'm not thinking about anything except for what I'm doing right now. I am present to do great work. You getting it? First thing, everything that comes in your mind, everything must be immediately captured, period. This little monkey's gonna start to talk inside my head. But just writing things down isn't enough because... If you look at most people's to-do lists, you see things like mom or bank, so you have to take it the next step. So now you've got to clarify what's the outcome I'm committed to. And then you say, well, what does doing look like? Where does it happen? So what's the very next action about mom's birthday? What's the very next action about the bank? Is that a phone call to make? Is that a surf the web to find out something? The third thing you need to do is you need to park the result. Otherwise, it goes back in my psyche. The final two steps, David says, are to review those lists that you make, those parking lots for your tasks and your projects, and then, of course, to do them. The big secret here about getting things done is it's not really about getting things done. I am now free and clear in my head to let my attention go where it wants to go or where I want to put it. It's about being appropriately engaged with your life. And once you stop trying to keep all of those tasks and projects in your head and you quiet the jabbering monkeys, you'll find that you have increased capacity to think and be creative. 